good morning everyone today we will discuss about uh, in the previous uh, we have discussed about uh, introduction of uh, machine learning okay so i will continue that one today uh, some more introduction i will give regarding uh, deep learning and other things applications i think in previous class we have discussed about what is machine learning <coughs> Okay, so what is uh, we will dis we will discuss about what is learning. After that, uh, I have discussed what is machine learning. So machine learning is nothing but a human can learn from experience. Machine can learn from data. Okay, so that one we will call it as a machine learning. Okay, so here human anyone can uh, learn from the experience. Then after that, you know, a computer can learn from the data so data is nothing but experience for computer okay so it means the machine learning it is a field of computer science that uses statistical techniques to give the computer system the ability to learn with data without without being explicitly programmed okay so this computer system will learn from the data and after that it will predict the new things so that is nothing but a machine learning okay so all those things we have discussed in previous class Okay, this is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning. Okay, so in traditional pro programming, what we are doing, we are giving data and program to computer. The output will be given. That is addition of two numbers. You will write a C program. Addition of two numbers, you will give the two input values A and B. So that is two and four. So then output will be six. That is the traditional programming. In machine learning, what we are doing, we will give the input two, four, and we will give the result six. So then the this computer system will identify which program I need to write for this output and input and output of data. Okay, so it means two plus four, six. So then I need to write a addition of two program. That is the output. Okay, so in machine learning, it will be data, output, data and the output are the in inputs and computer program is the output for the system. Okay, so this is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning. Okay, so all those things I have discussed in previous class. Just I will revise the things. And if with the here we have, you know, everywhere uh, we will have a machine learning. So in uh, you know personal uh, virtual, uh, you know, virtual personal assistants in Amazon and Apple series, these are things and predicting while commuting and we need, you know the predicting of uh, traffic signals. Okay, Tra traffic signal signals. So those are video surveillance. Okay, so by capturing the behavior of the person uh, will identify what can he can do in future so that is self-driving car all those things on recognition system for offer and customer support uh, and email spam and malware filtering so these are all uh, everywhere we'll have machine learning okay online and the, in machine learning there we have two things training data and test data okay so you try you know whenever you want to um, in a, in a machine can learn means uh, we need to train the uh, systems uh, computer systems such a way that the data the train data should be used this is the data which is used to train the system that one we will call it as the training data okay so then after that so whether that system is performing uh, correct or not to check that one we will have a test data okay so these are the two types of data and uh, they, these are the you know three positive words that is artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning so these are uh, every day we are uh, you know hearing these words okay so mother of all these things is nothing but a data mining okay so this is uh, you know another day so what where we have means uh, so this uh, uh, big data is there and uh, artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning these techniques we will apply using the data mining and other to analyze the data so we will have data mining and data science okay so then what are the applications okay so these are you know image everywhere we will have but these are the four four important things we have is image uh, image and speech recognition and medical diagnosis this is very very important in medical diagnosis and the statistical arbitrage and the learning associations so everywhere we will have this machine learning applications so why the current trend is means uh, this is the your opportunities why why you need a uh, you know artificial intelligence neural network uh, or a deep learning or a machine learning so because this is the next generation a is the artificial intelligence is the next digital gen frontier 
okay so here every way you know every day 60% rise in demand okay so you have a lot of career opportunities in this artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning and so everything we are converting into digital transformation okay so that's why in 2021 uh, 75 enterprises will use the artificial intelligence concepts in their projects 75 percent enterprise application so it means there is a huge opportunities in this machine learning artificial intelligence okay and here i know the companies 40 billions are spending the companies are spending 40 billions okay so 40 billions they are spending for to train the employees so it means no one has have a idea about you know uh, experience about artificial intelligence deep learning so they are looking a precious new one they have they have um, they should have the skills they have a lot of opportunities in it industry so and 75% companies feel that shortage of skilled professionals is slowing them in their adoption of ai that is also one thing so that's why uh, there is a huge opportunities here for you when you are become a you know skill in uh, ai or deep learning or machine learning and this is the learning path i think yesterday i have explained i will explain uh, uh, you know this learning path uh, if you are become a master of this one you, uh, you know you will be become a good data scientist okay so he, here <coughs> when you when you want to become a data you will have you will heard that word uh, data scientist data scientist so what is data scientist are a machine learning uh, engineer okay so are a engineer so these are all you know all those things you know data analyst you have heard that word data analyst all those things so our data analysting and our data analyst machine learning engineering artificial intelligence when you combine all those things you will become a data scientist okay so when you want to become a data scientist the first thing you need to learn the r programming this is a statistical tool okay this is a statistical tool so it contains you know mainly it is used for statistical analysis of uh, data okay so if you learn this r programming that will be foundation program for your data science okay then after that uh, you may learn about uh, sas sas is nothing but a statistical analysis system here also we have n number of statistical functions so to analyze the data so this is also very very a number of companies are they are using the, this is sas system for data analysis okay so then after that you will go for the python data science with python okay so whenever we have a machine learning or artificial intelligence you will implement that one using r programming or using python but most companies they, they that is 60 40 so some companies uh, uh, they are using python and some companies they are using r but both are everything is same but syntactically it is different but in r programming is if we compare to python the coding is very less but in python we will write code more when you compare to r program okay so here the, this python is also having a huge mm, demand in the industry okay so you, if you want to become a data scientist you should be thorough with python or r programming Okay. So once these these three are nothing but a programming skills, you need to know if you have a programming skills, then you will go for this machine learning concepts. Okay. So in machine learning concepts, it may be you may learn supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and after that you will do machine learning, deep learning, artificial. Everything will come in in this machine learning. If you are thorough of these these, these things, machine learning, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, neural network. Okay, so then you are half of the uh, data scientist. You know, you are ready for a machine learning engineer or a, you know, artificial intelligence engineer. Because you know the uh, programming part and you know the statistical uh, analysis part. When you want to apply this uh, machine learning concepts, machine learning, you need to know the stat uh, statistical concepts. Because data analysis is very, very important before applying. Uh, data preparation and data analysis is very very important to apply those data to machine learning concepts so it means if you are programming sas and data science so here if you are these are all nothing but the programming concepts okay so then you, you, 
these star and data you know python or programming concept and sas is nothing but uh, all uh, statistical functions okay if you are thorough with this thing you can uh, ready for applying the machine learning concepts okay so once you are ready uh, applying machine learning concepts you can apply those things are uh, normal data or you may apply to big data okay so here a uh, big data had opened spark developer so okay so here also um, you know in big data and uh, big data is the thing that it will be supervised and supervised and uh, sorry uh, structured and structured and uh, semi structured data so you can apply uh, you know huge volume of data for uh, the, these uh, machine learning concepts to this big data okay so if you are thorough with this big data so you, final thing is you can represent the data so for that you will have your own software tableau so if you are thorough with that tableau after that you if you implement some projects okay so uh, get a cat you know capstone projects or whatever a real world projects if you implement that uh, real world projects you become a, a data scientist see here in industry for each role we will have a specific purpose our programming that is a, a software engineer for a data science with um, python programmer so he is also a software engineer a sas analyst okay so he is also an uh, engineer he is having a specific roles so machine learning engineer he is as a, a big data analyst or a big data engineer he is also uh, a, a have a specific role okay and a tableau so a tableau engineer is also there okay so like that each one having different roles if you are thorough of all those things no one will touch you okay so no one will touch you that is the you know so it means you know a full stack developer like that you will have, if you are thorough of all those things you are a full stack data scientist okay that is you are a akka data scientist you will become when you are uh, if you know in a software engineer front end developer back end if you are uh, knowing all those things you will call it as a full stack developer so like that in this data scientist if you are thorough of all those things you will become a, a data scientist no one will touch you you will have a huge paid salary for you and also you will, no one will beat you yeah. so here are how many roles you are doing r program or sas the data science machine learning uh big data developer tableau so it means uh, three three six if you are doing in a six percent work you are doing uh, means uh, you will have a great opportunity in the you uh, know companies okay so these are the basic things next uh, how how machine learning model will work what is the data flow of machine learning model Okay, this is the today's class. So here, the workflow model is nothing but how data will be given to computer and how the output will be come. So what are the different steps we have? So it means whenever we want to do something, so first thing we need data. So what is how we will get data? We will get the data from different sources. Okay, so here that is nothing but that stage we will call it as a gathering data. So we will gather the data from different sources. Okay, so we may collect from people, or we may collect from uh, external agencies. Okay, a yeah, number of ways to collect the data. Okay, we have, we we will uh, you know we can collect the data, you know raw data. Okay, so that the gathering data. Okay, fine, we gather the data. So that is nothing but a data is in the raw form, but we can't apply directly to um, a system or uh, to train the system. We can't directly apply. Uh, okay, so because we need to. Prepare the data such a way that it is ready for, I know, um, training the system. So like that, you can't. Uh, you will buy a vegetable from different sources. Can we directly give vegetable? You know, can we directly do? Can we do cooking directly by buying uh, vegetables? No. What we need to do? We need to prepare. So we need to cut the vegetables. Before that, we need to wash the vegetables, and after that, we need to. Cut the vegetables. Okay, so that is nothing but a preparation. Okay, so that is nothing but a preparation. Like that here also we will have data preparation. We will have n number of steps. Okay, so here is a you know data. Some data may be missing. Yes, some noisy data is there. So all those things we need to remove, and we will make a data ready for to um, you know applying to the system. Okay, so that is that, that, that is second one is the data preparation. 
then choosing the model. Okay, we have cut the vegetables and uh, what you know. So what can we do from that vegetable? So which uh, I, I know uh, recipe we will do. So that is nothing but choosing the model. Okay, so here choosing the model. So here that is nothing but which algorithm we need to choose. Data is ready. So for which algorithm we need to apply. Okay, so that is nothing but choosing the model. We will have n number of algorithms, machine learning algorithms. Okay, so classification, clustering, regression, all those things we have. So which one we need? We need to select. So once we choose the model, we need to train the model. Okay, so it means we have selected the algorithm. Okay, so based on that algorithm, we need to train that algorithm. Okay, so by give, by taking the training data, so we need to train the algorithm. Okay, so after training the algorithm, so we will check whether that system or a model will work properly. It is giving proper result or no. That is nothing but a evaluation. Okay, so we will train the system. After that, we will evaluate by checking the. That is you are learning. You are learning phase. You are uh, uh, from uh, starting of the semester till end of the semester. You will learn from the classroom. So then after that, we need to. Evaluate. How we will evaluate by giving internals and exams. Okay, that is nothing but evaluation. So then after that, parameter tuning. So parameter tuning means if the result is not up to the mark, what we will do? We will take extra class and we will do some questionnaires and all those things. So that is nothing but to make a good score. So that is nothing but parameter tuning. So here also in uh, evaluation, so result is not up to the mark. So then, what we need to do? We need to tune the parameter such a way that the result should be good. So then, after that, once you tune the parameter is tuning, everything is done. Next one is the final thing is prediction. Okay. So we will give the new uh, test data and we will predict the result. Okay. So we will give the for the new data that is nothing but a implementation part once everything is done that is the last one is nothing but a implementation part that is nothing but a prediction so this is just a way uh, it is a diagrammatic view here we have we'll have a training data this training data will be applied to that model okay it means we will train the model using this training data after uh, model is trained what we need to do we will predict the result okay so uh, we will predict the result after that we will test and update okay that is nothing but a fine tuning will flow so then that will becomes the training data then we will uh, train the model such a way that the model will be fine tuning every time okay so this is the machine learning workflow model <coughs> so what are the different uh, machine learning types so here in machine learning types we will have n number of uh, uh, different types of machine learning types. So first one is supervised learning and super. These are these are the two important things: supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So in supervised learning, we will have a class, uh, different thing. But first thing, what is supervised learning? Okay. So what is supervised learning? So here, supervised learning is nothing that data is labeled. Okay. So what is data is labeled? So I will give one an example. Okay, so I have uh, five apples are there, five mango are there, and five oranges there. So what I will do, I will take three apples, three oranges, and three mangoes are training data. Okay, I know the fruits is there, their name is there. So what I will do, I will train the system I will, by showing apple. One apple I will show, this is apple. Second apple I will show, this is apple. Third apple is showing the two system, this is apple. Then I train the system by using three apples. So then after that, what I will do? In le left two apples are there now. So I will use it for testing the data. So we are testing the system. So I will, fourth one, I will take it and I will show to system. I will, I, I will ask whether this one is apple or not. So it will tell if it is apple, obviously it will tell this fruit is apple. So if I show orange, it will tell this is not apple. It will not, it will, it will not tell this is orange. Okay. So it will tell this is not apple. 
it will tell the system will tell it is not happen so this is nothing but a supervised learning it means we know the proof names so using that data is labeled data name is known okay so this is proof name based on that proof name we will train the model after that we will give that name okay so we will show we will show that uh, fruit to system it will tell whether that fruit is apple or not like that we will try using mango we will check uh, in next one we will check whether that fruit is mango or not so this is nothing but a supervised learning in supervised learning we will have uh, different uh, uh, techniques we have classification and regression in classification what we are doing we, we based on yes or no we will classify the thing okay whether it is fruit or not so like that okay the classification and we will uh, we will build a classification tree okay there is a, that we will call it as the decision tree okay yeah, i will discuss in detail all those things okay this classification is based on yes or no we will build the tree okay so regression is the thing but we will predict the future value by existing different parameters okay so here we will have a two things independent variable and dependent variable so independent variable based on we will derive the value of dependent variable by using a number of independent variables so for example so you know prediction of house price how we will predict the house price that is dependent variable prediction of house price how we will predict so based on sorry okay so based on you know the size of the uh, site then after that uh, build up area and what are the materials used okay how many floors everything it will consider so that is nothing but uh, those are nothing but uh, independent variables from that independent variable from that independent variable we will derive the value of dependent variable that is the house price that is nothing but a uh, equation so and in unsupervised learning we don't have in unsupervised learning uh, you know data are not labeled so here data is not labeled what is the data is not labeled <laughs> so here i have a group of uh, you know fruits but i don't know the okay so but i do i don't know group of fruits but i don't know the name of the fruits okay i have mango is there apple is, is there orange is there but i don't know the fruits there so then what i need to do so here we will have a concept for the clustering what i need to i need to group the fruits based on similarity okay i will group the items based on similarity so here mango the shape is different orange the shape is different and uh, apple is shape is different okay so based on that shapes and uh, similarity the color is same okay orange color and uh, the uh, the orange colors are uh, similar so based on that similarity we will group the um, fruits that one we will call it as a cluster okay so the uh, supervised learning fruits are labeled that is fruits names are known but in unsupervised learning the fruits names are not known that is nothing but an unsupervised okay these are the different types of machine learning so when you go for in depth same thing we have supervised learning and we have unsupervised learning in supervised learning we will have classification regression okay in unsupervised learning we will have clustering and dimensional reduction <coughs> okay so here they have given an uh, applications of those things okay so here when you come to regression population growth prediction estimation life ex ex expectancy so how much uh, you will survive okay so the, that is nothing but a prediction okay so market forecasting so of next six months whether market will fall down or and whether whether weather forecasting so next week what is whether it is raining or not so all those things we will identify using regression and advertising popularity prediction okay so if you use this uh, advertisement what is our popularity of product that one will be predicting okay so these are some applications 
So when you come to classification, identify the fraud detection, image classification, customer retention. Okay, so customer retention is very, very uh, difficult task. So those things also can be done using this classification technique. And diagnostic, di you know, uh, diagnostic means identifying the, you know, yeah, cancers using uh, that MRI images, all those things. Okay, brain tumor, everything we can, uh, in healthcare, we will do those things. Okay, so like that, uh, we'll have an answer for us. We, we have clustering techniques. I already told that recommender uh, systems and the target marketing, customer segmentation. Okay, how we will divide the customers based on their uh, purchase. All those things are concerned as and super life. So, in, uh, one more thing is a dimensional reduction. Okay, so here we have a huge volume of data. So, at that time, what we are doing, so it's very difficult to. Uh, use those data for uh, training the system so what that we need to remove some features or we need to reduce the dimension To do, we need to visualize only specific data. At that time, what we do, we need to remove the you know, uh, dimensional reduction we will use. The structure discovery and uh, future hesitation. So, all those things will come into the dimension. In addition to all that, these are the two things supervised learning and supervised learning. In reinforcement, if one more technique is there for machine learning that is the reinforcement learning. <laughs> what is the reinforcement learning? See here in supervised learning and unsupervised learning, we are using training data to train the system okay so some cases we don't have data at all okay so that is nothing but uh, at the time what we need to do without training the system using data so then we will go for the reinforcement learning so it means we don't have fast experience but also we will learn the things without past experience that is randomly we will uh, so you don't know anything about uh, some situations will come in your life what you will do based on your knowledge without past experience you will take the decision that one is nothing but a reinforcement learning okay so without any experience past experience you are taking the decision that is nothing but a reinforcement learning Yes or no? So, without any experience, okay, and so, uh, you know, in a sudden new things, a natural disaster, like that, you know, uh, earthquake happens. So, what you will do? So, you don't get, you know, you don't have any experience when you have an you know, earthquake. So, uh, those are our life threatening. So, the, all those things we will learn. Okay. So here, uh, the, the, those situations we will call it as reinforcement learning. These re re reinforcement learning, okay. So this re reinforcement learning uh, will be helpful when we don't have a past experience. Okay. So that is examples are uh, real time decisions. Okay. When sudden thing is happened at that time, you need to take the decision at that time. We go for the reinforcement learning and robot navigation. Obviously, robot navigation, all those things are real-time decisions, learning task. Okay, so then skill acquisition and a game of artificial intelligence, those things are reinforcement learning. In supervised, unsupervised, three things. In supervised learning, training data is there, the data is labeled. We know the data. In unsupervised learning, training data is there, but we don't know the uh, data is not labeled. But in previous for learning, we don't have any data. Okay, at real time, we need to take a decision without any past experience. That one we call it as a reinforcement learning. These are the three points.
future after that we will have 